Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to look at the sequence of how we scan the indoors of, say, a house. Uh, we've had people call and ask what the process is for scanning inside of a building, uh, second floors and whatnot. So here we've got a fully scanned interior of a home. Uh, we've got quite a number of scans here. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to take almost all of our scans. We're going to make them invisible. So as we can see here, it is the exterior of the house. Now, as we move through and open up more scans, we can see what our process is for how we scan. Now this is probably the most important scan to begin with here. It's called a threshold scan. As you can see, our first scan is out here on the left and targets were used because the exterior of the house was used uh, at the time this was done. Uh, targets were necessary. Now, as we can see, the second position of the scan uh, project here is right in the doorway. As you can see, we've got our open hole here, and our scan position is right in the doorway, right in the threshold. What that does is it allows the scanner to see what is inside and what is outside. And in this case, outside included four targets, our outside scan position here. So we've got the entryway side of the house. We've got the... Uh, entryway here where the door is that's seen by both the first and second scan and scan number 18 here picks up that as well but it also then picks up the interior that threshold scan will connect the exterior of the house to the interior so uh, as this house was scanned completely around uh, the entire structure and say it ended with scan 17 that is the key scan position between 17 and 18 to connect the exterior with the interior. And if we just take a quick look here as we add in some of the other scans, we can see where we've got a secondary scan in the small room. The first was scan 18 in the threshold. The second was in the second threshold, which is a doorway going into another room in the house. So because it's a small room, it was very easy for scan triple zero and scan 18 to capture the same data. Uh, we'll just continue to load the, uh, the scans here and you can see we moved slightly into this next room. Uh, don't be afraid when you're working interior uh, to go from a doorway threshold to step just inside of the next room, especially if you've got other doorways, uh, you might scan three or four feet from the last scan just to make sure that you capture the same geometry as you did in the previous scan so that the two will come together. Um, uh, as we continue to move through, you can see the line of scanning moving through this room into the next room. And moving into the larger room there, another room, and as you can see, once again, that scan was performed in the doorway, literally with the tripod in the doorway. It captured this small room with one scan, in addition to continuing to capture what we have been capturing from scan two to three. And we continue to add scans in, capturing more of this large room. Working our way around to the, to the right here. Now coming back the opposite direction. So I hope this gave you a basic idea at least of how simple it is to move through a home or a building that's say a uh, office building anything that has numerous rooms. Again, the most important thing to remember is when you're moving the scanner 
into a room, scan the doorway. The threshold scan connects the room you're going into with the room you've just left. Uh, the most important thing to ever remember when you're scanning, everything is principle based. The scanner needs to have a good look at the data and the geometry in the previous scan location and the new scan location. Um, when you're not using targets, the geometry of the building is what is used to put the scans together. And the more of the previous scan geometry you can see, the better and faster the scans will come together.